Hare Krishna. As long as staying where we are remains bearable, we rarely move forward. We are by default lazy. There is a principle of inertia which modern physics talks about that objects tend to stay in the state where they are in. Similarly, we too tend to stay in our default states. So, when we are in a particular position in life, we just tend to stay over there. We may all know that I need to do certain things to improve myself. And we may even know how to go about doing those things. But still, we don't take those steps. We just feel it's too much effort. And there's too much effort to move ahead and too much comfort to be lost when we move from where we are. However, sometimes life forces us into such turbulent situations that we end up recognizing that the present situation is just unbearable. And that is when life gives us a kind of shock treatment to jolt us out of our lethargy and to make us move forward. The Bhagavad Gita begins with Arjuna being put in such a situation. Arjuna was living a pious, virtuous life. But at the start of the Bhagavad Gita, when he was forced with the devastating reality that he had to fight a fratricidal war against his loved ones, he just crumbled. In 1.30 in the Bhagavad Gita, he says, so he says, O oh Arjuna, O oh Krishna, I don't see any favorable result anywhere. I can't stay over here because the situation is unbearable. I can't move ahead because none of the future paths seem bearable. What to do? So this situation where everything at the material level seemed unbearable was the impetus necessary for Arjuna to inquire from Krishna about life's spiritual dimension. And then Krishna guided and elevated his consciousness with the knowledge of the Bhagavad Gita. Similarly for us, when life puts us into a difficult situation, rather than resenting the loss of our comfort, we can see that as an opportunity for raising our consciousness. You can see that as an opportunity uh, which has come garbed as an adversity to push us out of our complacency and to raise us in higher consciousness towards Krishna. When we have this disposition then we will not be disturbed by adversity. Rather than complaining about the loss of the comfort or the price of change, we will see the whole situation as an opportunity for growth. And more importantly, when we understand that life spiritual dimension is where we will get ultimate shelter, then whatever it takes for improving ourselves, we will do it proactively. Without waiting for the present to become unbearable, we will voluntarily take steps to improve ourselves. And thus, we can stay with positive intention, steadily on the path to self-improvement. Thank you. Hare Krishna. 